Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it wasn't the most convenient. But let's get started here. Looks like Among Us is going to bring out Ike to start out this game. Um, I want to see, even though it's unlikely, Hydrant Water Kill Ike on Recovery. Huh. That's, that's, that's on my bingo checklist. We can do that. I'll tell you what, Ike does with, he carries a big stick with that sword and the neutral air is so, it's really deadly. I mean, not a lot of people talk about it, but I think that neutral air from Ike and just aerials in general too, they work really well just because of the range Among Us has with Ike. But yeah, he's definitely been switching it up a little bit here. Yeah. Now I'm curious sort of, uh, why he's opting to go Ike instead of the Joker, which we've seen. The Joker was able to do fantastic work, managed to beat out Pokalem's villager, who is, you know, Pokalem has won quite a few of these Xenos. Um, and in my mind, I think a part of it might be that, A, Ike has this really massive disjoint with his big sword, and two, Ike is the kind of character that you hit your opponent twice and you're like, I, I, I've, I've done all I need to do. You know, well, he doesn't have to worry about crazy combos, but then again, Right there, approaching Sinji when he had the bell all charged up, and that's gonna seriously cost him. Sinji only at 75%, and Among Us now already oh, dipping into his second stock. I was about to say, one reason why you would be Ike against a Pac-Man, Ike is heavier, and with the percentages Pac-Man tries to kill with, you would have to like boost him up to 180, similar to Wolf, just how heavy he is. But with that last kill percentage, that was at 130 for Pac-Man. So well done for Sinji so far, taking that first stock. So Ike just needs to adjust here, try to find the right opening. That ether is going to help out with that. I was about to hope to see the neutral air come in with the fire sword. Oh! <laughs> Man, these, like, definitely Among Us is a little bit scared. The fact that Sinji up-tilted his shield, and he stayed in shield enough time to get grabbed, he's uh, maybe respecting what Sinji... And oh. Sinji doesn't punish that. Yeah, oh. that was that was a good opportunity for Among Us to, like, use probably, you know, your neutral special, even though he gets that stock right there. But when as um, Sinji was recovering with the side B, you know, as he was arriving, you could have just end, ended with a smash attack or your special attack as well, either way. So that was a little bit of a missed opportunity. Either way, he got the stock, but it was honestly, <laughs> you could have had that for the highlight. Oh, that's actually managing to use Sinji's Hydrant against him. That's some big damage and 127% on Ike. Definitely scary, but as we've already stated, oh, Bell in hand. Has oh, he put it away so that he could grab. And definitely uh, Among Us was not prepared for that. He was sitting in shield and he does it again. Oh, he's the fear is in him. And now the bell comes out. And after mm. all of that, after being so scared of the bell to the point where he got grabbed twice, the bell still doesn't end. You just got to be ready for it. it you just got to expect it. So I don't know. If we, if, however this match might end up, I do, I might expect a character change from Among Us, but that's still depending on how this match will end. Either way, it's still a little early to talk about that. We still got two stocks to go. That for was so CG. smart. And yes, you're right. That was pretty good ether to counteract that attack. Well, also because the ether, he landed on the trampoline, so it canceled out the end lag. Mm-hmm. It and it's like tiny things like that where Pac-Man has all these great tools, but if you really understand Pac, can use a lot of them against him. Oh, oh. right there. I That's something that Joker probably won't have to deal with in the same way because Ike getting his jump sniped like that, there was nothing he could do at that point. Um, at least I'm fairly certain there was nothing he could do. Uh, I mean, just did he could have maybe up. air dodged up and then gone for like a low ether? I don't know. I mean, just right there, especially just with the side specials, you can't really do much after that. And then just with the lag after Ike duh, has, it's just hard to recover. Plus, he's yeah. just a heavy and slow character. And then again, even if he did like air dodge up, Sinji probably would have been able to punish the air. So yeah. that was as soon as that jump was gone, he was kind of just... Um. That being said, I think that I agree where we will most likely see a character switch moving into game two. And mm -hmm. Sinji needs to make that, you know, Sinji needs to prepare, be prepared for that adjustment. Because playing against Ike versus playing against Joker, I feel like that's very different. 
Oh Very yeah, different matchup. And it looks like we were. It looks like we got that set up, but then Among Us quickly dumped out of the ring real quick. Maybe it's a little striking. Maybe he was like, "Yeah," but nope, it's all good. He's back in, and we're seeing Joker once again. Let's get the speed going. Yeah, the speed, and also. I mean, when our send, I'm, I'm very curious to see how Sinji plays around, um, because as we've seen already, Sinji can kind of struggle to kill at the higher percent. And although Joker is much lighter than, Sinji, uh, if Joker is living to really late percent, he gets multiple chances at our send, and we've already seen he's able to kill with our send at disgustingly low percent. So you know how Sinji is gonna effectively play around comeback mechanism like that remains to be seen. and i'm excited to see what adjustments indeed i think really you know just the one thing like to point out in just the very beginning sinji recognized the character swap and he just wanted to be careful he just immediately went to the his own ledge and then just try to protect himself with the fire hydrant and we knew what happened after that but now really it's just kind of 54 82 percent wise eight now 87 this is definitely a different among us we're seeing from the last game <laughs> oh, oh. Tech. Mm. arsene though keeping him alive any other character that would have been a he has no ledge invincibility what didn't he's he, good didn't he have God. no when did he get his ledge invincibility back it's arsene he always has invincibility oh the bell oh. He doesn't what have invincibility deadly, on that. What a that's true. What a deadly ledge weapon that is, though. You know, it's, yeah. Once you don't, once you lose that invincibility, you just drop that bell to the ground. You're not recovering from. And that. correct me if I'm wrong. He he got hit by that because he had not a lot of invincibility on the ledge because he didn't spend that much time off stage. Yeah, if I remember I, correctly. I, yeah, because the the way ledge invincibility is calculated is it's actually. How much time you've spent off stage and your percent inversely so the less time you've spent off stage the less invincibility you'll get and that's something that Sinji really pays attention to and so he yeah Sinji definitely plays has a strategy for his opponents to go somewhere and he plays to that strategy no matter what it looks like among us try to use the counter and get some more arsenic power towards him either way it doesn't quite connect and now we're seeing Sinji's approach to Arsene, which is do not engage. <laughs> beep, beep. Stay away. He's going to the ledge, and even when he's getting hit, like, he hasn't managed to get a hit on Arsene. But at the same time, I think he got hit by, like, a late neutral air, and that was it. Oh, that creeped me out a little bit. I, okay, yes, yeah, so I'm not the only like, one. Oh. Yeah, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, but he has it back again already. That was quick. That oh, because he say, ate like. Really yeah, Sinji. Uh, whenever our, you know Joker does his counter, you have to because he can hold it for much longer. You have to wait until he drops the map because otherwise he will still counter the move and get a ton, ton of uh of our send meter for it. Our send's now gone, and that's ninety six percent on among us. Uh, uh, Sinji only sitting at twenty, so Sinji's still very comfortable. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> a one or two more effective counters and Arsene could be back online. Like, that's the thing about this character, having a built-in comeback mechanism. You can never, never be seen. Exactly. So we might, you're right, we might expect a few counters, a few rushed uh, Arsene's coming in here pretty soon. Now, if you're Among Us, once you're Arsene, Smart. you got to just pop off, basically. Just be, go out all aggressive, just don't mind the projectiles coming your way just find your way under them around them and you just bull rush Sinji basically so now here you go bull rush and just keep on fighting yeah and now remember Sinji before he went to the ledge to deal with our send this time around that's probably too risky because if you get hit by back here you're just dead so exactly. yeah look at him he's 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 still trying to get away but it, he's not going to the ledge oh. when he doesn't need to oh, oh no <laughs> the turnaround i first of all since got that tech and second of all it's getting caught underneath the bottom of smash Hill. that is a massive for Sinji. like he Man. definitely still could have lost that stock first and now he's sitting with a massive lead 
and Among Us is on his last stock. And when you're on your last stock against Sinji with a lead, it's just so much scarier. Exactly. Great job clearing, cleaning yeah. that. Oh. Yeah, that first stock is definitely gonna help, but you got you got to pop off at Arsene right now because while you still have half a bar left, you got to quickly get a whole lot of damage on Sinji if you want a chance to stay in. Sinji's just basically gonna strategize and map out where he wants to take you down on this stage or any stage really that's what he does best we saw his last stock that crazy under under the smashville stock so just gotta be ready for it all right bell is in hand for sinji now he has it picked up Ooh. oh I think Great. he reacted a little bit late to that ledge roll, only able to get a jab out of it. And oh, now, now Sinji is only at 73%, but our Sen is, it's getting close. That meter is getting up there and Sinji has not found a way to, and yeah, our Sen is back. Oh. This is so scary if you're Sinji. He has Bill in hand though. Oh, that's it. Oh no, oh, no. He, he was the wrong heck shit. He didn't, I, he didn't, I guess Sinji didn't actually expect him to get hit by the bell. And that's oh. it. Oh, the counter at the end. Wow, Among Us. That was just quite the game we saw. I think that Sinji didn't expect, I think Sinji was trying to punish the ledge roll. He didn't expect him to get hit by the bell? Probably, yeah. I, and that's I mean, why that missed, and that was a massive miss for Sinji. That's gonna be game two going to Among Us. Gore is now tied up at 1-1. Exactly. That was a great comeback from Among Us here, being down one stock to two, and then once it was an even game of stocks, he was yeah. probably at, what, 40, 50 percent getting built upon in terms of damage. But then, you know, the Arsene, just so deadly in this situation, coming back with certain invincibility and certain power he's got under his belt. Yeah. So you just now, gotta be ready for that. One adjustment that I think Sinji could make is although it's super duper scary recovering against, you know, <clears throat> Joker with Arsene, <clears throat> uh, he could be using those side Bs and trying to not recover quite as low, going for higher recovery so that he doesn't get countered because there is a lot of flexibility to that. And Among Us does kind of have to commit to a specific spot that he's going to throw the counter out. Oh yeah, you're right. And, and we're running it back to Smashville. Or no, this is, I guess this is a town and city, so a little bit different. But either way, bigger bigger stage, I will say that. So we'll see how uh, this one plays out. Bigger stage and also those platforms. We saw yeah. how he's able to really use them effectively uh, in Sinji's last set against LRA Start. So. Exactly. I And looks like Among Us tried to use the, the Fire Hydrant to his advantage, trying to you know, just take away Sinji's recovery, but you know, just the patience of Sinji just hung in there. Oh. And now 56 already for Among Us, 65 make that. Yeah. I do love the thought process of Sinji there. He realized that there was nothing he could do to prevent uh, Among Us from getting a centaur off the counter. So instead he just waited and as soon as it ended, he went for the Galaxian. But uh, the combo ended up not being quite what uh, Sinji was hoping for there. Exactly. Should be it. Bell. Someone ring his bell for you. Right. <laughs> what the oh, heck? the fire. So many hitboxes. And that fire hydrant, when it comes into play, I tell you why, you better watch out. That thing is deadly. It's heavy in real life, and it's even heavier in this game. Have you ever gotten hit by a fire hydrant? Mm, it's, it, never. It's smart, man. You know, I ran into a fire hydrant. I can't, I can't say I got hit by one, but I definitely crushed my bike into one. Got in trouble with you, the city. You can maybe. say it hit you. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. The city said otherwise, but it's all good. <laughs> oh, tried to hit him with that fire hydrant. Just didn't quite get the aim right. That would have been a highlight reel for the ages for Senji, though. Okay, snipes that. his jump. And that's our Sen gone. That like was a really little bit of Sinji. That was a little bit of a quick Arsene there. I don't think he lasted too long. Yeah, he got he kind of got trapped at the ledge for most of it. Mm -hmm. Which I will say the one weakness to Arsene is that normally when jokers get Arsene, a lot of the times they're like, I gotta take advantage of it. Which means they get hyper aggressive even when maybe they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. not every Joker does that, obviously, but 
at this at the same time, sometimes it be getting our send makes the makes them predictable in a way that you know base joker they aren't. And you know, Among Us has done a really good job when he has Arsen just kind of spacing out a little bit, just choosing his attacks well, and just strategic. That should be it. Man, that bell. Yeah, that was twice in a row he got hit by the bell. Yeah. And, you know, so Those like bells are now landing consistently, which means that that's if you're Among Us, you can't let that happen. Before, like, Sinji was really, really struggling to kill, but if you get hit by bell, you can die at, like, a hundred. Yeah. Oh, that, that spike almost landed, too. Man, Among Us is getting a little bit better at avoiding some of these projectiles, or especially the fire hydrants, but really, he's still... I mean, the problem is, he's down one stock to three, so it's... Make that one stock to two, or send with the crazy air attack, air assault. Be really big. Doesn't get the. Dra okay, he. I guess he didn't want the drag down on that. Instead, just getting the reliable damage that he could. Forty percent on Sinji. Nothing. Just got that. And once mm. again, going down there for that counter. And I was saying how before how maybe he should recover high, but Among Us was one step ahead and punished the high recovery next. So there is no clean answer to these ledge traps. The edge guarding. It's just, you know, you just got to pick your poison, you know? Do you want to use your counter? Do you want to use your back air? Either way, you know, Senji is going to still stick with the sides, the side special to try to recover because that's what Pac-Man, that's how most of his recovery works for him. Just, you know, you got a side special and all that. So you can't really do anything about the attacks that um, Among Us is going to throw at you. Bell is once again in hand. Sinji going for the crush. I wonder if he's looking to do something similar to what he did against Delaray's start with like causing, the, okay, there it is. Three bells in a row. That's, I think that the, the, part of that might be that some really good adjustments on Cindy's part were made. But I think that if you're, uh, if you're among us, you need to adjust and not get hit by that bell. When the bell is fully charged, just your, your, your awareness has to be extra. Exactly. Yeah, like he was getting very aggressive. He had Arsene, was throwing in all these moves, trying to be extra aggressive, get mileage out of it. And uh, that meant that Cindy was able to weave in that that uh, that bell. Exactly. You know, he, that was we saw the bell just come in a whole lot more than we originally saw in that game. And that's basically what Cindy wanted in this game, specifically in these finals. So, you know, you just got to play that. So we might see a little different move set with here in terms of how he's gonna win in the next game you know we might see more we might even who knows we might see a key come in we haven't seen a key in a while since the very first Sinji game but either way so, you know he's really good at just like stretching out like his range of play Sinji is the type of care player who has so much he he labs all the time knows mm -hmm. characters and he really works on matchups so if in a matchup isn't using a fruit, that is probably a complete conscious decision on his part. I don't know why exactly he isn't going for the key so much, but uh, I like obviously it's working out for Sinji. Yes, he lost game two, but uh, that game three was decisive and Among Us needs to be doing some adjustments because he's going back to Ike. Oh uh, boy. Interesting. We'll uh, this is his, yeah. his, winner's, uh, his winner's life here. He's up 2-1, yeah. so he's I going mean... back to the Ike and now on Smashville. Very curious to see how this plays out. I wonder what uh, adjustments he has in mind in order to, uh, like, what what changes he's actually mm -hmm. going to implement here because game one was pretty decisive for Stingy. Yeah, I mean, that almost that's not going to work out well, oh. and, but he, he recovered. I mean, that... Honestly, a little rough start, a little bit, if we could say, a little rough first 20 seconds. But either way, it's still, he's still good. I mean, 22%, not not bad. But yeah, going to Ike once again, it didn't really work out. It didn't really, it wasn't that great in the first game as Ike. So definitely a little questionable move. Maybe he's just trying to throw Sinji off a little bit with the character switch. You don't go, you don't go character to throw someone off when it's your last game to work with though i feel like there must be a very specific plan that among us has whether he lost confidence in the joker or whether he is there's like a specific thing he's looking to do with this ike instead yeah and you know i 
I, I think Among Us right now just has no plans of making this his last game. So maybe that's why we have I come yeah. in, so. I mean, we'll this see. is... We'll see if Sinji thinks otherwise, though. This is neck and neck at the moment, and... You know, now that we're back to Ike, he's a lot heavier. It's going to be a lot harder for Sinji to just end his stocks. Right as I say that, mm. ooh, it whips. He's too low. <gasps> oh, that's going to do it. I'm pretty... No! Oh, man, the footstool! Little Super Mario action. Just jump off your opponent's head like that. Okay, maybe I think we're starting to see a little bit better play here with the Iken Among Us. If he could just get that first stock quickly, those aerials might be able to do it for him. Yeah. I mean, Ike does basically have Arsene back air available at, like, all the time. Yeah. Oh. I'm yeah. careful with okay. those ethers. Leave you oh. wide open after you recover. Be careful. Watch the melon! <laughs> I was half expecting it to hit him on the ledge. Uh, but good stuff for... Yeah. All right, this Ike counter pick actually for re counter pick working out. He's at 176, and Sinji has not really been able to find a way to the stock. Ike is just too dang heavy. Yeah, exactly. You know, just sitting at 188 and, you know, just playing a different style than the last time. Now that's going to do it for that first stock. Yep. Still, you know, just the heaviness we touched on earlier. You know, and the heaviness and the length of the sword is going to be a big factor. Yep, and it is worth noting that uh, we did see the key finally come out. Um, part of that might have to do with the, you know, because against Joker, he wasn't struggling to kill in the same way. Whereas right now, he when the key is like when the opponent's at 150, 160, it's really good. It... So we might be seeing a lot more key, especially if uh, Sinji struggle. Whoa, <laughs> that was dangerous. Oh, Sinji's dead. Oh. Yeah, he air dodged directionally and that's too much lag at the end. This Ike counter pick, oh, we were really mocking it. We were really not expecting it to work out, but I mean, come on, look at this. 36% on his second stock and he's just been dealing out all of this damage on Sinji. Like Sinji said, has to be the aggressor now. Like I said earlier, you know, um, you don't want to change characters on your last game. Among Us doesn't see this as his last game once whatsoever, and we're clearly seeing that right now. We might be getting an imposter. Oh! Just goes right through it! He had not picked that option. I don't think we've seen him just go dash attack through the hydrant once on either of those two games. And so that was something he was holding on to in his back pocket. And Sinji definitely was not expecting it. In the in a really clutch moment, it comes through. Sinji died at like 9? He was at 88. Mm, yeah, the combined firepower of the sword and the hydrant, I did, tell you did, what. Did the hydrant hit him also? I don't... I don't even need to connect on um, him. Let me, yeah, let's see I this don't again. know. So he was at 88. How much is he after the hit? So after the hit, it looked like he was at 106, 107, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he went too far. Like, yeah, the hydrant didn't even... Yeah, the hydrant... Okay, did, yeah. Yeah, that was just Ike dash attack. <laughs> Dyke did not need help from a hydrant right there. No, he didn't. You're right. But, like, the fire hydrant moved afterwards in the end. It don't matter. It don't matter. Among Us is going to take that either way. And now, guess what, Salty? We are at a game five now. We are at a game five. Do you think, he, based on stage, he might switch back to... You never know. I think it could be. Uh, it looks like he's going to go back to Ike, so this will be quite interesting. Yep. Let, in I'm really one. curious to see what stage Sinji picked now. Um, it's going to be know. FD. I'm surprised FD not banned. This could be really, really rough for uh, Among Us. FD is yeah. the kind of stage where if Sinji gets a lead on it with no platforms or alternate angles of attack, it can be so, so, so difficult getting in on him. This is <gasps> definitely oh, oh, not oh, good. Dude. Not good. Not a good start. <laughs> You're among us. Just That's just the type of thing we expect to see Sinji bust out every once. Wow. That wasn't but. even like FD. That was just stingy. He has so many setups, and then yeah. sometimes the perfect setup happens, and his opponents just explode at zero. Mm -hmm. And you oh. know, Sinji, already Ooh. the adjustment from Sinji, how 
well is that adjustment. Maybe we could have seen a better character with Ike, but either way, this, it, I don't think the stage is affecting either character at all. I think it's just top tier play. I mean, I think one adjustment that Cindy's actually making is Ike is a character that doesn't really have good escape options. So it might be that he's like just trying to get the most out of every hit. He's really going into combos. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be working out. A stock gone right at the beginning of the game. And now we have 87% uh, pretty much almost uncontested. <gasps> the Man. air dodge. Oh, so if that had been like neutral air dodge down, he might have died. I think that the fact that he was slightly positioned to the right helps Cindy live right there. Yeah, exactly. I, he's really hanging in there right now with hanging on with two stocks but and 114 damage really just sticking it up a little bit but you know he's really just struggling finding an opening just to take out Sinji and this could yeah. be it right here no oh he just missed the attack Ooh, the hydrant actually oh, kind wow. of saving Sinji right there hit just him in the middle barely. of the ether attack just barely I don't think the That's aether it? was going to do anything yep Either All right. Long. At the very least, it'd be more percent than a. Uh... Um, and now this is three stocks to one, and there is there are some things going on on FD that are making a big difference. Among Us finally taking that first stock, but one thing is that when he has been full hopping over those hydrants, as two and Sinji multiple times has really punished him hard for doing so. So a hydrant on FD is especially as Ike is just a lot a lot trickier to deal with. Yeah, but look at those aerials coming into play already. Zero to 74 for Senji and make that 45, 55 to Ike already just switching things around. But as soon as Senji spawned back, you know, Ike just popped off with those aerials trying to make this game a little bit closer than he can. <laughs> Honestly, we haven't seen a counter from Among Us yet, so maybe we might see that soon. I'm not sure in what way or shape or form we would see that counter. Uh, probably on the play. recovery, similar to what he was doing with Joker, but Sinji, yeah, he's not going for that side B anymore. He, instead, he's trying to recover low with the uh, right as I say that, but even then, he's not going all the way to the ledge. He goes especially low so that he has some distance in between. Yeah, he. And I don't think that. he has a jump. Aether's no. nowhere near enough. Yeah, that's going to be 3-2 victory for Sinji. Kind of close there, getting all the way to game five, but there were just certain adjustments. I think part of it was the stage, and part of it was that brutal, brutal start that Sinji just dished out onto Among Us. It was, yeah, yeah, Sinji just was started off really, really hot and then just did not let off the gas pedal, showing that Among Us basically an imposter that last game right there. But really, well done for Sinji. Yep.